Hello, we are Trader Joe's. We are here for our two week haul. I would like to come every week. I said that in my last Trader Joe video. We just haven't quite been able to do that yet. We're gonna fill up for two weeks and then all the fall goodies are in. So I'm gonna to try to see what we can snag for all the new fall finds here at Trader Joe's. We're here on a Sunday afternoon, so we'll see what we can do. Now, normally when it comes to like fall and holiday things, I like to splurge a little bit. So I'll buy things that might have natural flavors in it or a little extra sugar. I don't do it all the time. So, and it's fun and the kids love it. So I don't know if you can tell, but like everyone's sleeping in the car. So I won't probably have anyone walking up here saying, Let's go. Which is good. They all need a nap. So we're here in the city. I'm hoping I have better luck. Amber over at the Happy Caravan. She showed her latest haul that her husband picked up for her and their Trader Joe's was like empty. I've never seen anything like it. And I have a microphone, but because Trader Joe's is not really big on people videotaping in here, I probably won't walk around with a microphone because it just looks really obvious. I don't like getting people in my films. I do the best to keep my camera down. So if my camera is down, that's why. And we're ready to go. So let's go. She woke up and I said, let's go. Sophia. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> she woke up. Little baby's so tired. These two are ready to go. So we have Madeline, Cecilia, who's tired, Sophia, and Alex. What are you doing? And then we have Thomas, and then we have Julia, and Hannah, and Claudia, and then back there, Grace is back there. Oh, Grace, oh, went, Grace went in with mom. Grace went in with mom. We're behind. We gotta go in. Okay, so they have all of like their little pumpkin boards and pumpkins. And I think that the orange pumpkins are $4.99. The all fantasy ones, those must be like the funky looking ones, are $8.99. Mini ones are $0.89, cents, so those are the ones up here. Those up there are $0.89. Cents. $1.49 for the pumpkin stripe. That's supposed to be these right here. And then the assorted gourds, which is over here, is $0.89. Cents. So I'll have Victoria come over and pick these up because she's really good at it. Okay, so we got these last year. These are little mini cinnamon broomsticks and they smell so yummy. We decided on five of these and then we'll just kind of put them around the house because they're very very festive for fall and they smell really good and we love them. We'll use these. She's sleeping still. <gasps> Cecilia, are you awake? Here comes the rest of my crew. Look at all of them, a whole line of them. Have this really big white one. The white one's really nice. They're all, that one, like they're all $8.99, yeah, so it stackable. doesn't matter. Okay, then do you want to do a stackable one, like just two stacks? Or do you need to have this one or that? Like one of these. Combo, Let's do the white and the combo. green because we'll have other pumpkins. Okay. I have to understand. We'll do the white and the green. Oh, great pumpkin. Where are you? I'm really hoping this one's in good condition. Because I'm hoping it's good. Because I don't want to get it. It looks like it's in good condition. It's way down there. Ooh, that one doesn't, it doesn't need a stem. Uh, we can put another pumpkin on top and we get another one. I think There's it's another one over there. That green one, the darker green. So many decisions. We're going to be here for a minute. This one or no? Girls, yay or nay? There's no sun though. You could put, you could put another one on top. You a mom on top of this. Oh, oh, we can put a baby on top. <laughs> These are dirty, so don't put your sleeves on it. You want that baby one? Whatever you guys want to do. Because we're going to get the white one. The white, the white one. one doesn't have a stem either, right? Yeah, the white one has a stem. It's up to you, and if you don't see anything you like, it's not going to I like work. the flat one so much like a stacking thing. Yeah. Okay, let's do it then. You smell good? We should just take the display ones, because they've already picked two that are really pretty. Do you guys, do you guys not like that? No, I do like that. Let's grab it then, go ahead. Okay, so we got a separate card for all the ball stuff, so I keep track of it. It's okay for that stuff, really. Here we go. Whoops. Why don't you put your baby pumpkin over here, love? Let's put it over here. Okay, we'll put it on this side. Oh, okay. Then you have the white one down there. Very good. Excellent. She wants to push the uh, fall. Okay, here we go. So my daughter wants you to lift this for her shower, and I'm going to get one too. So I have one here. I'm going to grab another one here as well. Thank you. You can lift this. Can we get a plastic bag over here, please? So here's one for Kayvon. I'm just gonna put that in there, just like that. Does it fit there? You wanna get the red cup? Yes, I think it's fitting just fine. 
Perfect. Okay, so we have three of the coleslaw. Two forty-nine. We got three bags of coleslaw. Okay, we're gonna grab some garlic. Garlic is up here, honey. So we're gonna get three. There you go. No, it's okay. So we have three of those. You put those in the car. They go in this car right here. So they have these are little mini maple flavored marshmallows. They do have carrageenan in it and oh, natural flavors. Like I would typically not buy these. I think I can probably pass. And then they have these really sweet hot cocoa melts. How adorable is that? So they also have a pumpkin spice robust and this looks super delicious. And that is $4.99. Also have a harvest blend herbal tea. There's a lot of natural flavors in this, so I probably won't to get that, but that looks really good. That's $2.49. You like the boba treats, don't you? And what is this one? I think it's black tea. Ooh, one. black tea. And they have cold brew as well. I was just looking at Nice. Out. Okay, so if you're looking for a pumpkin and cheesecake, I'm trying to figure out the price here. I can tell you the price on the mini ginger pumpkin scones. They are $4.99. We're just gonna get a box to try them and see if we like them. They're not organic, I mean, they're not like... No, I just thought you had a base on That's nice. Hi, baby. Are you wearing Malin's flannel? Did you take it from us? You're so silly. Okay, so then we're gonna get what, like four? Let's get, let's get four bags of the red. Those are the red. Let's see if there's any more. So busy, so busy. There you go, perfect. Okay, so super cool, super cute. They have the fall leaf corn tortilla chips here, and then the fall harvest salsa. I love the colors. We're just gonna go with the fall harvest salsa. The only thing in here is the natural flavors. Remember what I said, I'm gonna letting things, some things slide because it's just once a year. So I do like giving the harvest chocolate collection. I get these for our table during Thanksgiving. Usually we get two of them. So I'll grab one and then two. Whoops, they're all falling on me. That'd be great, thank you. How many do you want? Just two. Okay. Perfect. Okay, not only is it super busy here, but shelves are empty. Like all the fall fun stuff is like really gone. It's gone. It's really crowded. It's crazy crowded. It's like a safe, safe zone. <laughs> One double knot. Well, you can only get a lollipop if you find the flamingo, remember? Double knot it. They are very high. Go from the cart. She got cookies. Nice. We got some pumpkin crisps. We got two of those. Hi, baby. So we got they're the pumpkin cranberry crisps, and then we got two of the pumpkin spice JoJo's. Okay, so they have honey crisp, apple cinnamon. Greek yogurt cups and pumpkin. That looks super yummy, 99 cents. Nice little treat. Okay, so they have the pumpkin cream cheese spread bowl. Normally I wouldn't buy this, but we're splurging because we're having bagels this week. Okay, awesome. We have our cashew yogurt in the car, okay? We can't get everything just because it's purple. But it's purple. that pumpkin cream cheese spread. Hey boys, hey Alex, would you like to try the pumpkin cream cheese spread? Not your thing, girls. Girls, will you eat this? Pumpkin cream cheese spread, we buy it? Just to try it. We're having bagels, so I thought you know. All right, cool. Okay, I know that we're out of the pizza seasoning. $2.99 for the pizza seasoning. I love this stuff. And up here they have the Japanese multi-purpose seasoning, and that is also $2.99. And I think we're out of oregano. So we're gonna see if they have oregano way down below. There it is for $1.99. What a great deal. Thank you. Here, we'll give it to Grace. Thanks, Grace. Okay, so we need turmeric, which is right there for $1.99. And then we need cumin, which is right next to it for $1.99. And then we need the smoky hot chili powder, which is $2.49. Excellent. So many great spices here. These prices are awesome. I love it. Um, anything under other is from any other store, not Costco. Okay, so I'm looking for coconut sugar. 
Hold on one second. Oh, they're out of the caramel sea salt baking chips. And then, oh, the back here, I know we need some of these. We have to like go fishing for chocolate chips. We're gonna grab, we'll just grab one bag. And then we're gonna grab coconut sugar, $4.29 for a pound. Okay, so we're gonna get two bags of the coconut sugar for oatmeal cookies this week. And then over here they have their canned pumpkin. They have their pumpkin gluten-free pancake mix if you are gluten-free. How yummy and delicious is that? It looks really simple. You just add an egg, butter, plus water, and you mix and go. Looking at the ingredients, rice flour, potato starch, cane sugar, not too bad. Pumpkin mix. Then they also have a waffle mix down here. And then they have Ooh, pumpkin. pumpkin chocolate chunk oatmeal cookie mix. So they have the mix already done for you. That sounds really good. They have natural flavoring and stuff in it. Mm. And then canned pumpkin, which I think we have, is $2.49. $4.49 for the pumpkin bread muffin baking mix. Let's check out those ingredients. So sugar, whole grain sorghum flour, pumpkin flakes, brown sugar, so on and so forth. Not, I mean, it's not bad. It's not the cleanest, but it's, you know, it's seasonal. So you're not, you're not eating it all the time. I'll see if anyone wants any of this here. Let me check. Girls, anything over here? Try because it's the season, or do you just want to make our own? Our pumpkin mix is good. We have pumpkin mix from Costco. Oh, we do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. And then waffle mix, you just kind of add your own pumpkin to it. Yeah. Same with the pancakes. They really don't need anything over here. Okay, we're making a lentil curry dish. So at $1.99, we're going to get three cans of the coconut milk. Thanks, Madeline. I just like adding our own pumpkin to our sauce. There's actually nothing bad in here. It's just an autumn process of pumpkin butternut squash sauce, which we normally make ourselves. But if you want, it's $3.99. You can come here for dinner and have pasta sauce with your... It's like sneaking in vegetables into your kids' food. They don't even know. Uh -huh. And then you can come have the red lentils. And what a fun, like, dinner that would be. Yeah. Well, we found a little pumpkin butter. I don't know if they have this anywhere else. I don't know the price. But we'll pick this one up just in case we can't find it. A few moments later. So over here, they have the pumpkin butter for $2.99. And then down here, they have a cinnamon bun spread for $3.99 and I don't know which one to get. So those are the two. Which one do you want to get? Do you want to get cinnamon and try this one first? I don't I don't know. What do you put it on? That's how much how often we don't eat this kind of stuff. Well, that one's probably more sugar. Which one do you want, Cecilia? Cinnamon bun? Just like daddy? Oh, good job. Yeah, good daddy job. said it too. All right, cinnamon bun it is, $3.99. Here we go. Okay, so these we haven't tried yet, but these are a new item for $3.49. Don't they just remind you of fall? And I love the ingredients. They were just the organic wheat, beet powder, the finished powder, paprika, turmeric, all that good stuff. Can't wait. I'll let you know what I think of those when we make them. Okay, so they have the pumpkin O Trader Joe's cereal. It's so busy. We went over to a corner. I can show you what we're getting here. We're gonna get two of the Trader Joe pumpkin O's. I'm hoping they're good. My kids really want them, so we're gonna try them this week. Oh wait, we have a pumpkin card. We'll go down here. There you go. Okay, so they do have pumpkin flavored dog treats for $4.29 and they have the pumpkin maple bacon, which they're out of for $4.49, but there is canola oil on those, so we won't be buying those for the dog. It might be the only one that's empty. It's really, really crowded in here. She's safe with me. What's with the little noises you're making? <laughs> you're so silly. She's hiding. There he is. This is only splurging by candles because I'm an essential oil girl, but I do love the candles here. And I think that they're local. And it says they're made with natural soy wax blend, lead-free cotton wick. So we're gonna get two and two. I think that'll do it, right? Two yeah, that, that's fine. When do you prefer that one, the apple or the pumpkin? I like this one. Apple. I like apple too. What can I smell? My kiddos doing their thing. 
And which one is this one? Um, the pumpkin. Oh no, the pumpkin body it's butter. Like coconut oil in there and pumpkin seed oil in there. Ooh, how much of those? Four ninety nine. That's really reasonable. That's pretty good. You know, mom. Oh, there's a long list of ingredients. Yeah, I'm just looking. <laughs> You're just looking? Are you like, no? I totally want it. I kind of do. Do my hands. Okay, my kids are dying for this olive bread here. So they can eat them in the car. So these are $3.99. Let's see if I get one from back here. I like grabbing from the back because it's the freshest. Okay, so we're gonna grab two of these for snacking in the car. Eat all of it in the car. <laughs> it's all gonna be gone in the car. So we can get it. No. What is it? It's all olive bread. bread. It's so good. You'll love it. We ate like the whole bag in the car last night. Yeah, we ate all of it. All of it, yeah. <laughs> pick up they have the organic French baguettes. These are only a dollar ninety nine with the price right there. It's a really good price. You would both like one? Yes, you can both have one. What flavor did you get? Apple and strawberry. Apple and strawberry. It's delicious. And we're gonna grab two of this for the lentil soup this week. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the bread in the cart, guys. Watch out. We don't have too much in here this week. I think my kids wanna come back weekly. We decided to do weekly. So I do see apple cider donuts down there. I wonder how fresh those are. Oh, and let's see if we can find like good pita bread. All right, two loaves of bread until we get to Aldi. We have bread, I come with bread. All of a sudden there's all kinds of bread in my cart. Those, those are, so are your good. favorite, aren't you? Would you like to put those in the cart? Yes. Hey, wait, where'd you get the gum from? Yeah, Julia. 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 Yes. We're getting another one? Wait, hold on. Is that we're getting two of them? Yes. He, he wants two. That's okay. I think they only need one. Though. That's okay. We'll just get two. That's okay. Yeah. They're his favorite. He says yes. Okay. So we need to get some dried fruit, and then we're good to go. So we really were here for a lot of pumpkin stuff. The girls are spinning. We got the sesame Ezekiel bread. My daughter is rearranging the cart. You're fine, honey, thank you. And then we got the sprouted grain. I, I call this the orange loaf. I don't think they have like a name. This is, I just call it maybe the original. So we have two loaves, those are $4.99 each. We're gonna get some fried fruit and I think that's good for the week, we're good. Okay, so they have pumpkin spice pumpkin seeds. Everything in here has some kind of pumpkin spice to them. There's about 11 grams of sugar for a quarter cup. No oils or natural flavors. And it is $2.99. I think I just might get them for my husband. He likes to stay up and watch movies at night and he's on vacation, so grab those. They also have a maple spice nut mix. Wow. Okay, wait, this has maple, rosemary, almonds, pecans, red and black pepper, sweetened, dried cranberries and pumpkin seeds. It's quite a list though, but that looks really good. If you've had any of the things I have not tried here, I'd love to know if you love them. Okay, so the organic banana chips have just the banana chips, some coconut oil, and some cane sugar. I don't know why they have to add the cane sugar, but, but my girls are requesting these this week, so Grace, I'm placing the card over there. And then, I do like the dried pineapple, but let's do the apples because we're kind of in that season. We'll let's have one bag, it's fine. Perfect, and those are what? $3.99. Okay, I think we're good. That's a wrap, guys. You're three, but you'll be four soon. Pretty soon. And then here's our other cart. Our other cart is all the fall stuff and some eucalyptus. Okay, that is a wrap for the week. Not too much in this cart. I think my husband has the other one. Let's check it out. Not too much this week. Two carts, one is all fall goodies, and then this is what we need for the week. We're heading to Costco and a couple other stores, but not too much this week from Trader Joe's. Straight from the flamingo.
treats and stickers and suckers. Thanks, Grace. Hey, load it up, load it up. So what do you guys think about Trader Joe's on Sunday? Kind of crazy, isn't it? Too many people. Make a note, don't come back on a Sunday. During the week is much better. And the girls, we got their picture taken from the for the thumbnail. Did you girls get the thumbnail picture? Gorgeous. Okay, so let's start back here. We bought four bags of potatoes. They are three pounds each. And we bought these because we're making a crock pot, roasted chicken, and we're making a sheet pan meal, which includes veggies and Italian sausage. Trader Joe's, I think, has the best price on potatoes. $3.99 a bag for three pounds, I think is really good. I mean, down here, we have coconut sugar. These are one pound packages. I don't know if this is like a really great price. We don't buy a lot of coconut sugar, but we will be buying a lot of it very soon because we do a lot of baking around the holidays. So we will use this on like different desserts. My children sometimes will sprinkle this in their oatmeal, but a lot, most of the time it's like honey and maple syrup. We'll see how long this coconut sugar actually will last us. Then we bought some Ezekiel bread. I call this the original, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe it's not called the original, just what I call it. The orange bread, we've had the orange Ezekiel bread and the sesame because we're completely out of bread. They don't go to all these till later in the week, so this should carry us through. Super good price. The ingredients in here are really clean too. Here, I'll just go ahead and put the ingredients right here on the side. This is for the sesame, so you can take a look and see what we think about that. And then this is for the Ezekiel. The original, the orange bread. Right now, currently, my top two breads are the bread from Aldi. The bread from Aldi is really good. It's a grain-tastic and a seed-tastic. So I'm really not buying the Dave's Killer bread. It's not one of my top breads anymore because I really got spoiled with the Aldi bread. And then we really like this Ezekiel. Okay, and then down here, we have the Trader Joe's, upside down. The Trader Joe's organic French baguette has just all the things you would need to make bread. There's nothing like different or out of the ordinary. It has the sea salt, the flour, the water, malted barley flour, all that good stuff. And we bought these, I love the price. We bought these to have with the Thai curry soup this week. We're also having an Italian sheet pan meal. So we're gonna probably have some bread with that. All this will be gone. The potatoes will be gone this week. The coconut sugar, probably not, but we are making cookies. The Ezekiel bread will be gone. This will be gone. Here's the cabbage. I bought three bags of the cabbage. I love this coleslaw mix. It's just got the shredded green cabbage, red cabbage, and orange carrots. If you flip it over, there is a recipe that you can follow, although I've never followed this one. This calls for your favorite tangy barbecue sauce, mayo, and apple cider vinegar. So you can try that out. We'll use all three of these bags for coleslaw, and we're gonna have homemade chicken nuggets. Okay, so this bread is so good, this olive bread. If you look at the back, besides it not being organic, we just don't pay attention to that. All the ingredients are great. It's what you need to make bread, and then you have kalamata olives, seed salt, black olives. So you can warm it up. We normally eat it in the car, so we bought two to eat. We only ate one of them. If you have this at your, your Trader Joe's, you should try it. It's really good. Find that at Trader Joe's. Let me know what you think. We love it. Good stuff. Moving back here, we haven't bought these for a while because there is sunflower oil in it, so I just kind of skip it, but my son loves it. I don't know if you saw in the video, he like ran up to me. He looked at me at that face and like, sure. These are delicious. They're just so, so good. So good. Moving right along. Banana chips are for snacking, nothing in it. I don't know why they have to add sugar, although I've never really dried up banana chips. Maybe they lose all their sweetness. I don't know. These have a little bit of cane sugar on them. My daughter wanted them. That's like, sure, they're banana chips. So if you know why they do that or you have made banana chips before, let me know. Banana chips for snacking. Then we got the New Zealand sweet apple rings, again for snacking and for trail mix. We like to add more of the fall ingredients for trail mix in the fall. These are super good. Down here we bought garlic. We definitely need more of because we're making a honey garlic concoction. Um, I'll probably put that in the form of a short video unless I include it in one of my long form vlogs. The price for organic garlic at Trader Joe's is really decent. All right, back here we bought three cans of coconut, another good price in the coconuts we're making an Indian curry dish. And then it looks like we're starting and we have, wait, we have one more thing that's not pumpkin fall related. Chocolate chips. I love, love their chocolate chips here. These are gonna be for oatmeal cookies. We're gonna do some oatmeal raisin cookies. 
And then we were also gonna do some oatmeal um, chocolate chip cookies. They're my husband's favorite. And when the season changes and I can actually make some cookies at home, I normally do for him. So that's what this is for. Okay, so starting over here is more of the seasonal items. Now I didn't get everything I wanted to get because they're out of stock, but that's the way it goes. So we're just gonna call before we head back down again to get what we want. And I just try my best to look at the things that have the best ingredients that we typically, when it comes to fall stuff, I do let things slide. And they were out of stock of the Joe, Joe O's, like the Halloween ones, and a couple other ones, like the maple leaf cookies and something else. So we're going back again because we buy those every single year. We have to get those and they back in stock. Let's start back here. We picked up the pumpkin O's, toasted whole grain cereal with brown rice, oats, and pumpkin. There is no seed oils in here. Not too bad, right? It's not organic, but that's okay. So then we got the 12 mini pumpkin ginger scone. These looked really good. They're just ready to bake. So you just put these in the oven. Here are the directions, baking instructions, bake from frozen. Easy peasy, great for breakfast. You want to make some eggs and then pair it with the pumpkin ginger scone they're little mini scones if you're headed towards starbucks don't go to dunkin donuts for your coffee if you looked at the dunkin donuts label 195 grams of sugar that's equivalent to like 14 donuts don't buy that drink there just just don't there are other alternatives don't go there but you can make a really clean organic coffee at home with a really nice pumpkin creamer and then have your eggs your coffee and your pumpkin scone and you'll be much better off. Moving that down, my daughter got this pumpkin body butter. It smells amazing and she loved it. So we picked that up. Then what else? This wasn't really a fall item, I don't think, but it was a new item. It's a mango chutney. So we were just gonna put this on cream cheese and crackers. You can pair it with peppers and goat cheese. There's a lot of different things you can do with this. Then we got the Harvest Chocolate Collection. We have to buy two boxes because there's so many of us. So I came over by the window. Aren't these so cute? They're little chocolates. And they have these in different fall shapes. We will use these at Thanksgiving dinner. I like to put one of these on each of the plates. And I got two boxes. Moving right along, we also picked up the Pumpkin Cream Cheese Spread for bagels. The bagels we bought this week, we bought for um, lunch. Cannot wait to try this. The ingredients aren't too bad, but like I said, I wasn't really looking the ingredients too much. I kind of let things slide. Back here, <laughs> there was pumpkin spread and then there was the cinnamon bun spread. I don't know if you remember, my husband's like, let's do this cinnamon bun spread. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet, but when I figure it out, I will let you know. Again, the ingredients aren't too bad and it's just a sweet treat for the fall. Back here, we bought the fall harvest salsa. Pumpkin, tomatoes, has onions, barnet squash, peppers, jalapenos, honey, lime, Time. I let the natural flavor slide because we don't buy this all the time. Just once in a while, once a year actually. Um, so we'll save this for probably some chips or we'll put it out with some, some type of meal this fall. Then we bought a pumpkin. <laughs> we buy a lot of pumpkin. I'm actually gonna do a video going over decorating. I know it's something completely different, but we're also making these amazing cookies in the video. So you'll wanna tune back in because you'll see. Okay, so we bought a pumpkin, one of many pumpkins pumpkins to come. You'll see we bought actually two more. I'll show you that in a minute. 89 cents. Not too bad. My family, they love these. These are the pumpkin cranberry crisps and we just put these out with different dips and cheeses and they're always a hit. They will have this with like a snack time with some cheese or some dips, things like that. We got two boxes of those. These back here are new. I did not see these last year. Maybe you saw them in your store, but these are the Trader Joe pumpkin spice Jojo's. Pumpkin flavored and other natural flavor sandwich cookies and a yogurt flavored coating. So we bought these. We won't even read the list. 16 carbs, 11 grams of sugar for one cookie. So there's a lot of sugar. My husband said, well, there's only 11 servings and there's 13 of us. So we had to buy two boxes. They're a special treat for this type, you know, this time of year. So then we got some of these candles. Now I'm, I'm a big essential oil person. These these are just made with natural soy wax. I got two of them. This is the vanilla pumpkin scented candle. And then I also bought the honey crisp apple and it's made the same way with your natural soy wax blend and it smells like apples. So 
I don't buy a lot of candles because I love using essential oils. I'm super picky. I prefer beeswax and all that grand stuff, but I do put some candles in my house. Moving down over here. Oh, how did this get over here? Okay, these are the pumpkin spice pumpkin seeds I bought for my husband since he's on vacation. We're doing a staycation. We're doing all the things. And I don't know if you can see those ingredients, but it's all clean. There is a little bit of sugar in there. Yeah, there's sugar in there. The pumpkin seeds are really good for you. Moving over here, we're almost done. We have these cinnamon sticks. I bought five of the cinnamon sticks for various spaces in my house. I might even put one in my car, although I do have a really nice diffuser in my car. So every year I get, I get a few of these. We got five right now. We might get a few more, but we hang these in the bathroom. You can put them in your kitchen, your dining room, your living room. Okay, so these are made, if you look at the bottom, from raw pine and cinnamon. So I was hoping there was nothing on them because I buy them all the time because I love them so much. I was like, oh, I hope not. Then we bought spices. Let me just lay these out. Cumin, again, Trader Joe's has really good prices on their spices. And then there is the pizza seasoning. Love that. Then we bought this again because it was so delicious, the Japanese multi-purpose seasoning. I think I got one of the last bottles. Then I bought the smoky and hot chili powder. We used this in our um, chili the other night. Super delicious. Then we picked up the dried oregano and that is it for my haul. Oh, wait a second. We bought two pumpkins and they were $8.99 each. Love them. Aren't they pretty? They're the stackable ones. We bought the ones that were on display because they always pick out the really good ones for display. So our pumpkin buying has started. But this is all from our co-op. I thought I would just show you a little bit of things I got from my co-op in here. Five half gallons of the whole grass-fed milk. One of these will be going to make yogurt. The rest will be for like smoothies and things like that. We might even end up using two for yogurt. I'm not sure yet. Depends on how much yogurt we go through. Then I forgot to make my broccoli sprouts this week. So I had to pay a really high price for broccoli sprouts. Check out that price. Crazy amount of money. These are super packed full nutrition. They're just really good. I put these in my salad. I even put them in my smoothies. I just kind of like take a handful and put them in there. They're super easy to make and just buy the broccoli sprouts like on Amazon. So broccoli sprouts. Mmm, so good. Then I got two things of the pasture raised eggs from Vital Farms. They were on sale. This is the price on sale for 12 of them. Love it. They always put this sweet little message inside like the bird of the month. My kids love to read this. They love to find out where all their eggs are coming from. We also picked up some kefir and then I buy the Kelowna Supernatural Organic Whipped Cream. I forgot to show you this. So this is eucalyptus. We bought two of these. And what you do with them, or what we're gonna do with them this time, I've had them just in my house because I love them. We're gonna hang it upside down in the shower. Have you ever done that? You should try it. This is everything. And here is that total. That's the grand total for everything once again. You stuck with me this long. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. And leave your comments and feedback down below. Thank you so much for being here. Love you all. Thanks for getting us to 10,000 subscribers. That could not have happened without your love and support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.